We're going to kickstart the video by adding some salt, black pepper, and some garlic powder to some to the chicken. I'm going to mix this very well so that uh, it can marinate for some time as we prepare the dish. As uh, the chicken is marinating, we are going to prepare some condiments. First, let's start off by preparing, preparing some ginger and garlic. This is uh, vital in uh, cooking the chicken, most importantly. After which I'm going to prepare some onions. This is going to be followed by some uh, peeled and uh, diced tomatoes. After which I'm going to chop some nicely cleaned cilantro. And uh, after this, we are going to start off uh, the cooking process in a sauce pot or in a pressure cooker in my case by adding some onions and cooking oil of course in the beginning followed by some herbs which include some cinnamon bay leaves cardamom and some cumin powder cumin seeds after which we're going to follow up by adding chi the chicken on top of that i'm going to sprinkle the the ginger and garlic that are chopped earlier and I'm going to cover this and let it uh, boil for about 30 minutes or so after the 30 minutes are up we're going to add some spices uh, you can choose the spices of your choice but in my case I'm, I am using turmeric and turmeric I'm going to also add some coriander powder which I'm going to follow up by adding some cumin powder I'm also going to add some ginger powder and tomatoes and I'm going to mix this very well earlier on I had peeled some potatoes which uh, these potatoes I'm going to add uh, into the dish and I would also chopped some uh, carrots and also capsicum, green capsicum, which I'm going to also add to the dish and I'm going to mix this combination together. Remember at this point uh, most of the stock coming from the chicken has reduced for quite some time so after I add some cilantro and um, uh, some tomato paste I'm also going to add some little liquid, most likely some water, just to help in the cooking process because now we to give the potatoes, carrots a time to cook. I add some little water and also cover the dish in order to cook for the period of time that is needed. In my case, I, I am going to cook for another 15 minutes or so. Uh, just also, it's important to note that my timing is based on uh, the point at which the, the, the dish gets to the boiling point. That's where I'm counting it from. So it's not from the point where you cover the lid. It's a point from where you, you start... Uh, the dish starts to boil and uh, you start hearing the whistling sound. That's how when you start counting the number of minutes that are needed for the dish. And uh, at the end result, as you can look, when once the cooking is done, this is how the chicken is going to look like. Potatoes are already well done. And uh, the sauce is thick from this from the combination of all the spices and vegetables as well so i'm going to sprinkle some more cilantro on top and i'm going to serve this dish with a uh, chapati and uh, for the chapati i just uh, 
I'll just leave a link to that recipe in my description. So if you want to know how to make those ones, don't forget to check out my description. And uh, don't forget to always uh, like and also hit the subscription button to get more of my videos. And to keep up with, the, with every time I upload a new video. I want to appreciate everyone who has been subscribing so far. So keep on sharing the videos and let's grow my channel and prepare more and more of these beautiful meals. Thank you for joining. Till next time.